Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. Today, we're watching Starbase 1 get blown to hell. Roll the intro, please. I bring you greetings from the Founders, and a most unusual assignment. Our friends in the Alliance have troublesome news. An enemy long thought dead has returned. Left unchecked, she could bring disruption and unrest to the Klingon Empire. Such chaos could pose a danger to the Dominion as well. This will not do. There is a saying. The best way to understand a Klingon is to face them in battle. And so, I've had a simulation prepared to allow you to do just that. Prepare yourself. Study this Ja'ula well. Knowledge is power. Power leads to victory. And victory is life. Glad you could make it. There's a little time and plenty to do. I trust you see the enemy vessels near your position. Deal with them. I need you conducting rescue operations as soon as possible, and the Klingons won't let you do that without a fight. Right, that area is secure, for now. Let's make the most of the time we have. I need you to beam out any survivors on board the damaged Starfleet ships in your vicinity. Make it fast. The Klingons will send more ships, and soon. One more thing. The Klingons aren't above ambush tactics, using their blasted cloaking device to get the jump on you. Some of them might be lurking around, waiting for the chance to strike. Churchill has been evacuated. Thanks. Cardiff evac complete. All hands are safely away. Macedonia reporting. Evac is complete. We owe you one. those Klingon cowards didn't get the better of you. I hate to ask this, but I have standing orders from Starfleet Command. I need you to scuttle those ships. The Klingons have been scavenging everything they can to get their hands from wrecked Starfleet vessels. In the event we fail in our mission here, Command doesn't want the Klingons getting away with any critical resources. You have your orders. here. My chief engineer is sending you a list as we speak. Beam their supplies over with the personnel you rescued. After that, I need you on high alert, patrolling the area. The Klingons don't give up that easily. They'll be back. Surely you didn't think we'd let you seize all the glory here. And you. Chief Engineer isn't too happy right now, but we made it in one piece. 
We came as soon as we could. Wish it were under better circumstances. Ticonderoga's ready for battle. We've got your back. You're doing good work out there. The personnel and supplies you've sent might make the difference here today. That said, I have bad news. Our long-range sensors are picking up a Klingon force heading our way at high warp. They'll be here soon. Get ready for a fight. Remember the lessons we learned in battle, especially at Corvan 2. They'll be preoccupied with conquering the base. We can use that distraction to our advantage. We know how they fight. Don't expect mercy. It won't be coming from Klingons. Hit them fast and hit them hard. And captains, it's been an honor. Good fortune to you all. Klingon attack ships on sensors. Fire at will! ships on our sensors. A lot more. This is it. They're making their big push. Our initial predictions are not good. I've given the order to evacuate critical personnel and the injured. We're loading as many as we can load onto the ships docked here. They're too damaged to fight, but they're all warp capable. I need you to draw attention from those ships when they disembark. Buy them the time they need to get to warp and to safe harbor.
Heads up, looks like the Klingon flagship just dropped out of warp. Sounds like you have some history with that ship. What can you tell us about... Wait, are you reading this? We're picking up some unusual energy spikes. Some new Klingon weapon, perhaps? I don't like this. Take the Lucara out of commission before it gets into weapons range. I see you still draw breath, Starfleet. This pleases me. Break. Intriguing. This Ja'ula was a dangerous opponent in the 23rd century, and I suspect she will be in our time as well. Klingons are quite tenacious after all. As I understand it, House Mokai was eliminated in 2389 after a century-long blood feud. When Ja'ula learns about this, it won't be pretty. She might find any number of allies within the Empire with grudges to settle as well. Unchecked, it could lead to civil war. We are working with our allies to find Ja'ula and stop her before things get out of hand. I'll be in touch when we know more. Housecoat Gaming signing off.